All right. Hello. I haven't done this in a while. Cool. Okay. How's everyone doing? I guess I guess I'll turn it like this. Okay. Hi guys. Um so it's been kind of a tough week. Um and so I've been wrapping my head around it all, like probably many of you have. Um, but anyway, I wanted to share some songs that I've been um, just playing their, their cover songs, um, their old folk songs from the 60s and 70s, but um, I don't know, I think that they're relevant right now, and um, I, uh, I feel sort of a responsibility to share them with the younger generation. Um, because I grew up listening to it because my parents were of that generation. So, um, anyway, this is just something I'm doing to hopefully provide a little bit of comfort for anyone who's feeling a little lost. So, here we go. must a man walk down before you can call him a man yes and how many seas must the white dove sail before she sleeps in the sand yes and how many times must the cannibals fly before they fall Dylan. Um, most of you've probably heard that one. Um, this next one that I'm going to do is a song that was originally written by a guy named Dick Holler, and it was in response to, um, yes, much love to everyone out there, I love this. Um, it was written in response to the 1968 assassinations of Martin Luther King and Robert Kennedy, um, and it just kind of expresses the bewilderment that everyone was feeling at the time, much like I think we're all feeling now, and um, just not sure what to feel in these times of violence, where violent things happen and then violent things happen in response, and it just seems like there's nothing anybody can really do about it. Um, but this song basically talks about um, these four men 
uh, Lincoln, Dr. King, and both the Kennedys, um, John and Bobby, and talks about how they had a common dream. And basically that dream was that, you know, love can really exist. A state of love and peace can really exist. Um, and that people could aspire to great things, sort of even in the midst of tragedy and confusion. So this is a song um, called Abraham, Martin, and John. <clears throat> song but really beautiful and really poignant. You should listen to the original version because it's absolutely stunning and there are strings and the vocal is just beautiful. So many people have covered it. Uh, there's a version of Whitney Houston actually who did it that I just saw on YouTube. It was really awesome. Um, okay I have one more song. This one's a little more uplifting. Um, this song, I'm not sure who wrote it but I know that it was popularized by Peter Paul and Mary. Um, and it was, I think, originally an anthem for the labor union, but um, it became sort of an anthem for the civil rights movement. And um, I just like, I just like what it invokes. I like the spirit of it. Um, my parents used to play it, um, and uh, it's just, it's just a good song about. Um, I love the lyric. It talks about um, the love between our, my brothers and my sisters, and I just think that really is the key to solving a lot of these problems: is looking at each other like. We are family, you know, because we are. We're all re related and um, we're all human and we all have to exist on this planet together. So I think looking at one another like family um, can help. So this is called If I Have a Hammer. <laughs> Sisters, oh. 
songs um there's so many more so many more i encourage you if you are just feeling like you need a little comfort there's so many amazing beautiful songs from that period of time that are super relevant um change gonna come sam cook so anyway um i hope that y'all enjoyed it thanks for tuning in i know it's been a minute since i've done one of these things uh but uh y'all are beautiful people and um you make the world a better place so much love, peace, and uh, stay safe. And um, here we go. I'm going to figure out how to turn this thing off again. Swipe down to stop. Okay. <laughs> peace, guys.